If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As fall is here and winter is near, if you've got an irrigation system, you need to either pull it up or drain it out. Now we have a substantial irrigation system from dripworks.com and we've buried a good chunk of it under the ground for convenience that we're not tripping over it. So we need to drain it out. How do we do that? Well, we can use an air compressor to blow the water out of the, the uh, irrigation system or what we're gonna try to do is use a vacuum. If you have a shop vac or a vacuum, upright vacuum that you can invert to blow air out instead of vacuum up, then that should work. So we're gonna try to see if that will work for us and I've taken the timer off, taken the filter off, and I've taken the pressure regulator off. That will be taken inside. The, also, this runs on a 9 volt uh, battery. That will be removed, and this has got a multi-stage or multi-programmable system on it. Um, so we got that off and we've got the water turned off coming out of the house. So what we're gonna to try to do is take the hose on the vacuum that's, and we've inverted it to blow the air out. We're gonna tape it to the feeder line with the attempts that that will blow most of the water out of the system. So we're gonna use uh, tape here and just wrap it around. Let's get it started here. Attempt to do this. There may be better ways to go about doing this, but this is what we are going to try and see if it'll work. There we go. Right. Let's put another round on that just to get that a little more secure so it doesn't blow off. All right, and now we will All right, so now we'll go to the other end and see how it's working. Everything seems to be working fine here. There's no air coming out of that, and I can feel the air going into the pipe. So let's go look at the irrigation system and see if we've got some water emitting out of the emitters and on the other end. Okay, so we're in a raised bed here, and it is working very well. There is water dripping out of all of these emitters. Let you hear the gurgling of the air. Uh, so then that seems to be looking good. Now we can go to the very end of the line here. This is the line into the feeder line that we buried. So what I'll do is I'll pop the one line out here that goes to our yacht cons. There. And you can see the air pushing the water out. I'm gonna make it go a little quicker here. And that is how easy it is on a low budget way to drain your irrigation system. Now, with that gurgling like that, that's pushing a lot of air out. I'm going to pinch it back closed so I can force more water out. And again, we don't have to have every drop of water out of the system. We want the majority of water out so what little bit of water stays in there. When it freezes and it expands, it doesn't blow the emitters apart or crack the PVC feeder line. So hopefully that helps you with a little uh, ingenuity when it comes to not having an air compressor, but maybe you have a shot vac that you can use the blue lines out of your irrigation system. For more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable